Hey guys, it's Kara from iStampin.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to be doing the May Paper Pumpkin unboxing, and then I'm also going to do an alternative project, a little bonus project for you. So I was just pointing out to you that Stampin' Up! has started to um, label the, the paper pumpkin boxes with the month and the year and then the name of the kit. So that's a really nice feature. I don't know if y'all had noticed that. But this is the photopolymer stamp set that we received this month. Oh, it's just absolutely adorable. I love these stamp sets that we get. They are exclusive. And the only way that you are able to get the stamp sets is to become a paper pumpkin customer. And um, we receive at least one stamp and spot a month. So this month we are getting soft suede. And the nice thing is, is that each month um, it's a different color. So not uh, a color does not repeat in a calendar year. So if you subscribe for at least 12 months, you'll have uh, at least 12 different stamp and spot spots, which are perfect for taking on the go. So here I'm just going to speed up and just show you all the elements that came in this kit. It's called um, Sprinkled with Love, and it's these adorable little donuts. And so we've got um, three different card bases, and uh, that one's a really pretty soft sky with gold foil. Some labels for the envelopes and these cute little flowers. So I'm going to be making all three cards. Well, I made all three cards. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, um, I forgot to record the very last one. But um, I just make, uh, as usual, I just make them the way the uh, directions um, are listed. So this is the first one with that pretty soft sky uh, circle with the gold foil. And... These, these cards are great. Um, it's meant to be done, you know, in one sitting, and uh, they're portable. You know, if you want to take it with you on the go or um, do it at home. So there I just uh, stamped the center part of the flowers, and I'm punching them out. And then this is some really pretty uh, vanilla and gold uh, twine. And I just, it always makes me laugh that they're so precise with the measurements. It says 18 inches, so, <laughs> which is nice. Um, but I wanted to also just remind you, if you have been considering joining uh, Paper Pumpkin, that you have until June, uh, June 10th to, subs to, subs uh, to subscribe. Let me see if I can say that. <laughs> and... Uh, if you are a first-time subscriber, if you join, um, you get 25% off your first three months. So I will be sure to put that promo code uh, down in the description box for today's video as well as on today's blog post. Um, but it's $19.95 a month. It, uh, tax is extra. Shipping is included in that price. So... Um, your credit card is billed the tenth of every month, and then it comes automatically to you. So it's a nice, it's a nice little surprise to get something fun in the mail every month instead of junk mail or bills. So here I'm just adhering those little flowers onto the card, and then this one will be done. I did not cut the twine just because, um, uh, you know, I haven't written the message on the inside. So that's where I was just showing you. So now we're on to the second card, and this card was really fun to make. It's they, uh, the designers at, at uh, Stampin' Up! really did a great job this month with some creative little elements that we get to play with. So that top of the donut just goes right onto the card, and then this is just like um, some chocolate icing. This is a little cardstock sticker, so I'm just taking it off of the backing sheet. And then I'm just going to place this on top of the donut. And the neat thing is, is that I will just take my scissors and just cut. <laughs> that was Ty in the background. Um, I'll just take my scissors and just cut in between the circle where it gives the illusion that um, the icing was put on perfectly. So there I'm just taking my scissors and just going to snip that off. So that's pretty cool. Then I'm just going to use my adhesive. I always like to have extra adhesive and dimensionals. They do provide that in each kit, but it's always nice to have extra um, adhesive. And then I'm just going to pop this up using the dimensionals that come in the kit. 
And then uh, just to finish it off, these are some flat little sequins. And uh, you know, you can use your fingers. I used my fingernails. Um, I should have just gotten a pair of scissors or my paper piercer. It makes it a lot easier to uh, to get them off that way. So you just randomly just place those around the card. And then this one is all done. And then like I said, I'm not sure what happened to the third card, which is, you know, it was a really super cute card too. I just uh, forgot to press the record button, but you'll see it here um, when I uh, place all three of the cards um, to show you the finished cards. And the cute thing is, is that these come with these cute little uh, uh, envelopes, little pocket envelopes, little I guess that's what you call them. So those, the hearts and the circles, those are labels, and um, you'll just wrap the the same twine around the little paper bag and tie a bow, and then just use the uh, little labels that I stamped that with love on, and that's how you just seal the envelope. So just a, a fun way to give a card to somebody. And again, I, I don't cut the twine and I, I put the label on really gently just because I want to be able to, uh, you know, use this um, and not ruin it. So I'm just moving up the, the ribbon a little bit. And there you have it. Just a fun way. So here are two of the cards. And then I'm going to take the card out of that envelope. So there's the third one that you can see there. May your day... Be sprinkled with love. So that was a really easy card to make. I just added pearls and the flat adhesives and some twine. So here's the bonus project. I'm going to start off with the Whisper White note card. And um, I actually saw this on Paper Pumpkin's uh, Instagram page. So I'm somewhat casing it. It's a little bit different. I'm starting off with a piece of Calypso Coral. And I've cut that down to four and seven eighths by three and three eighths. And then I'm using one of the brand new stamp sets that you can start ordering tomorrow. It's called Pieces and Patterns. And I'm going to make my own background with that one stamp using Calypso Coral ink. So it gives it a tone on tone uh, pattern. And then what I've done is I have cut two more pieces of Whisper White cardstock. So I've got two sizes right there. Uh, the larger size measures three and a half by two and a half, and then the smaller one is three and a quarter by two and a quarter. And that's where we're going to do our stamping. So I'm using five different colored ink pads: Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, Peekaboo Peach, Pink Pirouette, and Soft Sky. I'm going to start off with the um, sentiment, thankful for you, in the center, and I'm going to stamp that in Calypso Coral, and this will allow me to um, kind of keep everything somewhat balanced or in line. <laughs> so this is just going to go right in the middle of that, and I apologize for my head. Um, I'm stamping on the floor, so I didn't realize my head was in the way. So the first two colors I'm going to start off with are Peekaboo Peach and um, Bermuda Bay. And that uh, little uh, flower image. So again, sorry for my head. I sped this up so that you didn't have to see my head so much. Thank goodness I don't have, have gray showing. And then now I'm going to come in with uh, Bermuda Bay and stamp that below. So just make sure that uh, when you do this that you clean the stamp in between each ink. And the easiest thing for me is to start in the middle and then work out. Uh, that helps me keep everything a little bit more um, spaced evenly. But of course, you know, once you have a couple of rows, then you can just line them up. And thank goodness the pink pirouette's kind of hard to see because I didn't stamp this one all that great. So, But you know what? When it's handmade, it's not going to be perfect, which is one of the nice little features about it being handmade. Now, this is not the 5 inch, five eighths inch burlap ribbon. This is just some ribbon that I had in my stash. But that 5 eighths inch burlap ribbon that's in the annual catalog, that would be a great... Um, choice to use and then so I just adhered that in the middle of the larger panel and I've popped up the stamped panel up on dimensionals so that's just going to go on top of the ribbon 
and then the uh, this panel will be adhered to the um, Calypso coral and just center that. I didn't do a great job of centering it so um, just make sure that you center that into the panel and then the other thing that I forgot to do until after uh, I took pictures of it is to uh, to attach some of the flat uh, sequins that came in the kit. So in the picture you'll see that uh, there's a few sequins that I just randomly placed in the center of the flower. And so then the Calypso coral panel just goes right on top of the card base and that's it. Just a really fun alternative card that you can do using these paper pumpkin stamp sets. Um, I always say they're like gold and they really are just a lot of variety. So I hope you like today's card. Um, again, I'm just showing you the brand new stamp set pieces and patterns and then the the paper pumpkin stamp set that came in the May kit. So if you want to uh, get June's kit, just be sure that you subscribe by the 10th and I'll have my link below. Thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed the card. Give it a thumbs up if you did and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Wow.